Hello guys, welcome back to Satisfactory, I am Sim UK. The MAM machine is knackered, which means we cannot do any more research in that department. So I think, as an alpha, it really has sold me on the game. I think it's absolutely stunning, and uh, hopefully I'll still have access to it uh, when the uh, early access comes out, and there'll be more to look at and engage with. But for now, I think, uh, you know, this is probably going to be the last episode today, so I'll try and get as much stuff shown to you as I possibly can. Um, anything that you haven't seen that you'd like to see, you just ask me about it and I'll do my best to answer your questions and stuff. So you can have stairs, which means you can have multiple floors. Oh look, a window at last. No. Oh, it's a conveyor belt connection. Oh, that's cool. So you can have stuff coming through the walls. But no windows, just conveyor belt connections. Interesting. Exploration basics, uh, beacon and an object scanner. An object scanner. Well, that might be interesting. What do we need for this? Let's select that as a milestone. All right, let's unlock that. We know we've got all the stuff we need. Um, let's just store all and we'll pick up the bits we need. So we need some wire. Get rid of all this. Sort that, please, so it's organised. Um, we'll keep that. We're probably going to need the cable. And I don't think we need that, do we? No. Okay. Right, let's just double check what we do need. Now we've got some space. So we need uh, iron plates, 100. Iron rods, 100. And 250 wire. Well, we can do the wire straight away. So rods and plates. And now that we've got this multi-tier split system, this should be straightforward. 100 of each, please. That's 100 rods. And that's 100 sheets. Hang on, that's weird. Oh, this one does... Wait. Who's making sheets? You're making rods. You're making sheets. Or plates. Okay. That's fine. As long as somebody's doing something other than the other one, that's uh, absolutely fine. I'm really looking forward to playing the... Why have we only got 76 there? That's weird as heck. Didn't I pick up 100? Damn it, I'm going to have to go back. So frustrating. Have I got maybe some in here? Any rumps in there? Save me going all the way over that side. Not that one. That one. Damn it, no. So it's pretty early days in this game at the moment. Um, if I had my time again and uh, I was playing again, I'd know much better how to plan and advance my, or plan and prepare to advance my base. Milestone reached. To ensure your survival and effectiveness when exploring xenoplanetary environments, you now have access to an object scanner and beacons. What's the object scanner? How do I use the object scanner? See a lookout tower. Hmm. Perhaps I have to build it. Let's have a look. Oh, look at this. Biofuel. What do we need for this? Biomass. Oh, well, that's cool. Watch this. So we make biomass, and then we turn it into biofuel. I've been calling this stuff biofuel for ages, but it's not, is it? Oh, we're going to have some biofuel. It's a bit of a shame, because we're kind of at the end of our first look, our preview at the Alpha, which has impressed me uh, to an unbelievable level, I have to say. This game is absolutely brilliant and the fact that it's not available on steam i thought would be a negative consequence i don't know that i'm a big fan of the um uh, what's it called damn it i'm gonna have to go look oh he's back 
is Pakistan. I do love that animation. Is it the Epic Games installer? I can't remember what it's called. It's it's on my desktop behind the game, so I can't look at it right now. But uh, you know the thing I'm talking about. Um, you know, I'm, I've had it installed in my system before. You need it in order to play Fortnite. I think Fortnite is probably unlocked the sort of the the shroud of complexity behind the whole system. It seems a lot more streamlined than Steam, and it's certainly not as ubiquitous or invasive as the likes of Ubisoft or uh, EA's um, Uplay or whatever it's called. No, Uplay is Ubisoft. You know what I mean. I forget the names of everything. I forget the names of my children if I could. I keep trying, but they won't let me. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of... I mean, this is just awesome. And this is alpha. It's, it's incredible. I can't put words uh, cohesively together, clearly. But... Um, Definitely, I'm impressed. I did see a vehicle at some point, somewhere. I'm a bit flabbergasted and irritated that I can't remember where I saw that. So you need 500 modular frames and 100 motors. And what is that? And what are you going to give us if I give you that? Space elevator resource delivery two game phase name delivery will unlock tiers five and six. So that's not actually going to do anything because tiers 5 and 6 don't exist. So I'm not going to bother doing that. But let's go and explore the island a bit. I want to know where this object scanner is. Don't see it. If I press C, it's still looking at limestone, iron ore and copper ore. C? I just press C. What am I doing, man? Yeah, I have absolutely no idea where that is then. It says I have access to this stuff, but I, I, I'm not entirely sure where it is, to be fair. I think I've shown you pretty much everything the game has to offer. Conveyor walls, that's not very exciting. Obstacle clearing, jump pads, walkways. Have you ever got the jump pads? That might be quite cool. Oh, should have put that one in. Uh, so we need 200. So we need 100. 200. Okay, let's go, let's go grab this stuff. We'll unlock the jump pads. We'll build some. We'll, in this episode, we'll try and do a, a small amount of exploration. But essentially, we're going to just try and unlock all the stuff that's available so that you can get to see it all, like the jump pads uh, and whatever else is available. Um, oh, 58 isn't many. We've got literally just enough. Just enough. I want to go up there, but I'm too bit uh, lazy to walk around, so maybe we'll just make a jump pad and see if we can jump up there. That would be quite cool. Uh, okay, right, let's chuck that in, chuck that in, chuck that in, chuck that in, chuck that in. Launch. We now have jump pads. Buildings aimed at factory traversal, including several different categories of jump pads, can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. I bet it is. Uh, reinforcement plates. Okay. Let's go make some reinforcement plates, and then uh, we can build this thing. Right, do we have any here? I might have some already. No. Got some rotors. Got some 10 motors. 10 motors? My god, where did I get them from? Alright, let's make some reinforced thingies. We need some screws. We need some iron plates. And then we can get some reinforced iron plates. Jobs are good. Un. <laughs> I'm not sure if we want a, a jump pad or a tilted jump pad. Should we go for the tilted jump pad? I, th I just think that's going to be more exciting. Because we've kind of 
want to go. I, but the thing is, are we just going to slam into the wall? There's an incredibly good chance that we're just going to kill ourselves here, but... I live for the moment. I live for the ride. Let's go. Whoa, that didn't fire us high enough. And now we're stuck kind of halfway up the mountain. That's not good. So, that's interesting. They don't actually fire that high. thought that was going to fire me a lot higher. I wonder then, perhaps, if I... Would that fire me... If I put one here, would that fire me up the rest of the way? Oh. Whoops. Jump pad. Of course, what we're going to need here is the power source. Uh, and that one's overloaded now. That's got four coming off of it. We may trip the switch if I try and do it. What's the matter over here? Oh, you've got no power. I could come from this one. Is this going to work? It did work, but there's no power to it. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited to see if this is going to work or not. Let's go up here and get some fuel for this thing. Oh, we got super fuel now, haven't we? Put the super fuel in. Where's the biofuel stuff? There it is. That should just run forever now. Right, so we should have power. I think everything, if it's all green down here, which it looks like it is, then we should have power. Let's see if this works. Oh, so close. So damn close. I think maybe if I'm a bit more proactive about my positioning. Ah, oh, no, we're just clipping that every time. Oh, no. All right, I think what we need to do then is we'll remove that. We'll remove that, and we're going to have to put an angled one up there. So if I put an angled one... Sorry, a tilted jumping platform. Just give it the correct name. If I can squeeze that in there somehow... Get the power line hooked up again. Here we go. The big test. You watch, there'll be a horrible... Oh, what happened there? That doesn't usually chuck me there. Chuck me to the right place. <gasps> so close! But also so far and so nearly very dead. Uh, we're going to have to... Um... Uh, get some food meat before we die dangerous this this is you know this is not not for beginners this is for experienced players only um, let's pop this here eat 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 so yeah I think that's that's a fail isn't it uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to redesign up our whole thing. Uh, it's not, not going to work as it is. Um, perhaps I can start the whole jump procedure from a better location. So maybe maybe from here up onto there and then from there up onto the top? I don't know. Only one way to find out, I guess. Uh, we'll whack a, a tilted jump pad here. Once I figure out my buttons, we'll uh, we'll put a power line coming over to here, <laughs> and then we'll basically. I mean, this is how scientists do it. We'll jump on it and we'll see where it throws us. Ah oh, man, how do I get up there again? 
I'm going to have to make a jump pad to get me onto the jump pad. Oh, nearly fell off. Right, where do we end up? Oh, so nearly perfect. So, I think, yeah, if we pop one here... Can we get one on the edge? On the ledge? On the edge of the ledge? No! What about a straight up one? No? You're not going to let me build one here at all, are you? Damn it! Oh, man. That's a huge shame. I don't think we're going to be able to do that from, from there. I haven't given up. I just need a better idea. Just have a think for a moment. If I could build a platform... Sort of over here somewhere. Or maybe... Ah, maybe up here. Maybe I could build something up here. Let's get up there a second. Maybe this will give me the additional height advantage that I need. Oh, you won't let me build up on here. <sighs> Crikey. How do I... Will you let me build a, a foundation up here? No. I'm kind of limited in what I can do. Will you let me build a foundation on the mountain? How about... How about... Now this could work. This has potential as an idea. How about you let me build a foundation up here? I don't have any concrete. Right, maybe that was what the problem was. Maybe if I pay attention to the alerts, I won't keep going around in so many circles. We can hope, can't we? All right, so let's try it again from here, because if I can do it from this platform, I think we're in a really good spot. Why can't I jump up there? That's so annoying. Uh, nope. Yes. Tilted jump pad. No, you're not going to let me do it from here. Okay. That just sucks. Right, back to plan number 54. We'll see if we can put a platform over here. Because that first system nearly, nearly worked, didn't it? It was just that... There we go. Liking the look of this. This is looking very promising right now. Thing is, I need to kind of build a... Uh... <laughs> I mean, last time we got lucky that I landed there. It wasn't like I planned it. It just kind of happened that way. Now I've got to try and plan it to work that way. Uh, where the hell are these things? Organization. Tilted jumping pad. Rotated to the correct position. Oh, crikey. It's not perfectly perfect, but it's pretty close. Right, I think another platform. Is that going to get in the way of the first one? No, I hope not. So yeah, we might be able to do it here. This might work. very regimented about where that can go. I don't know if you spotted that. Didn't have half the amount of uh, options available to me. Alright, here we go then. The big test. Boom! Oh! Nuts. That's in the wrong place. I'm going to have to move this. Kind of want it here almost, don't we? Oh, 
Boom. No! That's perilously close to what we want. Yes. Yes! All right, we are up here. We're going to get this slug. Fantastic. Right, what is up here? You know what I should have done is put, like, uh, the soft, spongy landing thing down the bottom so that I could uh, get back down again because now I'm going to have to either stay up here and build a new base or uh, risk my entire life by jumping off. I suppose we've got some food. Maybe if I jump off and eat food at the same time. Hello, slug. I'd like to know what these slugs do. I wish the object scanner thing I could figure out. I don't, I don't know what the object scanner is. I don't know what happened to the vehicle I saw that you can sort of automate to do jobs. I think you could... Uh, I think it was like a tractor. That was it. It was called a tractor and you could basically send it out to go and get this stuff and it would drive back and drop it off and the whole thing was automated and you didn't have to do it. That's what we need was that tractor. I can't figure out where I saw the tractor. Wow, our base looks so cool from up here. Now, if I'm lucky, I might be able to jump onto Stan and not die. There we go. That works really well. So we have a rather clunky yet effective way of getting up there. Uh, and I'm thinking if I just don't land on that, then we could put a jelly landing spot here. Or it's too steep. I mean, this thing's huge. What do we need? Why do we need 200 biofuel? What's that all about? Everything else we've got, we just need some biofuel. Okay. I think I have some of that. Oh, well, I think thought I had some of that. Oh, I do have some. We have an automated process bringing it down from the mountain above, which seems to be empty. I think we've probably run out of biofuel again. Okay. So we got some. Took this up. Ah, get up there, dude. Get up. Come on, man. Here we go. Massive you jelly landing spot so we're good we can now get up the top oh Christ ah oh, that didn't help me I must be more careful I was just thinking we might be able to get on that animal we're perilously close to being able to do that see something or I die wouldn't it be cool if I could jump on the back of that thing Yes, now I am tempted to try it. Oh no, this is bad. I'm going to die if I keep landing badly like this. I'm trying to think what I can do. How did I get up there the first time? It just doesn't seem to want to work now. Uh, we're going to have to eat this stuff. It tastes like crap, but it does heal you. Alright, let's try this again. Why is that not working now? What's changed? The mountains got bigger. Well, that's most infuriating. <sighs> We're going to have to do something with the fuel here. So, let's just fill this up with all the stuff we've got, which isn't actually very much. What's this thing? Green power slug. What can you do with a green power slug? Clearly it does something. Just don't know what. 
So what have we got here? We've got a lookout tower. Let's, let's put one of these up. Are oh, you telling me I can't afford it because I haven't got the right stuff? That's annoying. We've got some jump pads. We've got the jelly thing. We've got some walls and doors. Conveyor belt. Stuff. Biomass burner. Craft bench. Equipment workshop. Maybe this will allow us to do something. Oh, we haven't got enough stuff. Because I deleted our old equipment workshop and I haven't rebuilt it. So maybe I should. Um, and then maybe we can get the tractor. If we can get the tractor and get that hooked up so it's automatically bringing in fuel, then we're absolutely sold forever. But uh, yeah, I mean, as a, as a last video on this game, I think we've pretty much covered everything the game has to offer in its alpha state certainly the potential is good and i'd love to see i mean some of the stuff they've come up with is so clever i'd love to see more um yeah really really quite impressed with it all i have to say I think they've done a fantastic job i know it's alpha it's not meant to be completely stable and it isn't but it's pretty damn stable considering it certainly doesn't feel unstable to any great degree. What's your problem? No power. Ah, uh, you run out of fuel, I see. Do I have any biofuel on me? No. Go get some. Go get some from the storage box. Ooh. There's not much in there. It's not good. So we'll try and convert it into the good stuff. Because that just lasts a lot longer. So yeah, I've seen some of the aliens that you're likely to encounter in this game and some of them are enormous and bloody frightening. Um, what was I going to build? I was going to build an equipment workshop. Let's do that. Ah, an object scanner. Okay, then. Reinforced iron plates. We've got beacon. We don't have any. Let's make some beacons. Uh, now I can't afford the recipe. What am I missing? <laughs> I need like, I need two screws, dude. Don't we all? Two screws coming up. Grab a few extras for the sake of it. Uh, object scanner. Here we go. Fantastic. So now we have an object scanner. Is that right? There it is. Brilliant. Scanning for power slugs. I can see one up there. Oh, is that just what you're going to do? You're just going to beep. So that's how we're going to home in. That's how the scanner works. It beeps and it homes you in. Okay. It's not brilliant, but it's not, not the worst thing in the world. Gives you the idea of where it is, doesn't it? And if you go hunting for them at night, they glow up in green, so that'll make life easier as well. Looks like uh, it will be able to hunt different things in the future. But for now, it's just power slugs. And the fact that they're called power slugs makes me think that they provide power or something. Okay, what does a beacon do? Well, we know what a beacon does, surely. Let's make one. We've got three, actually. Portable miner. There's nothing else coming out of this building. It's kind of underutilised at the moment. I'm sure in the future it'll do loads of stuff. Let's see if I can find that bloody tractor. Where was that tractor?
Oh, there it is. Coal power. What do we need? Reinforced iron plates, rotors, and wire. So we've got quite a bit of wire, but quite a bit of... Well, we need some more reinforced iron plates. And what's this? Rotors. Rotors are easy to make. Cool, okay, well, looks like we got time for one more episode then. Join me in the next one and we'll try and get this tractor up and running. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.